guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about episode 11 of season 14 of Supernatural Damaged Goods. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. With that said, Here's my review of episode 11 of season 14 of Supernatural Damaged Goods. Nick without Lucifer is just as scary as Nick with Lucifer. And since the last time we saw Nick, it seemed like he summoned Lucifer back, I'm wondering when Lucifer will come back, and whenever he comes back, I can bet that Nick will let him possess him again. I really loved seeing Donna again, and I know that all of Sam and Dean's friends care about them, but it was really sweet to see how concerned she was about Dean since she knows what happened with Michael. And even though Dean acted like he was okay, you could tell that Donna knew that he wasn't. It was nice that Dean was spending time with Mary but I just wanted to know what was going on with him. I mean, obviously it had something to do with what was in the book that Billy showed him in the last episode. I just wish that he would have told Sam or Mary about it right away. I know Dean's the type of person that doesn't talk to people about the things that he's dealing with, but I really wish he would. When Donna found Nick, I was really worried that he was going to kill her. So it was good that he didn't, but I was still worried about her when he tased her. So it was good to know that she was okay when she called Dean and told him that Nick was after Mary. And I was also wondering why Nick was after Mary, but it makes sense since Mary was the one who trapped Abraxas who killed Nick's family. I get that Sam wanted to show Nick compassion, but since Nick was Lucifer's vessel, it was obvious that even though Lucifer was gone, Nick wasn't just going to go on with his life. Being Lucifer's vessel can really affect a person, but obviously Nick doesn't care since he told Sam that he doesn't want to be fixed. I had a feeling that Abraxas killed Nick's family because Lucifer told him to. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. With his family dead, it was a lot easier for Lucifer to possess Nick. I get that Dean wants to keep Michael trapped, but the fact that he wants to be trapped in a coffin in the bottom of the ocean is crazy. And. I know he told Sam that he's going to do it with or without Sam's help, and Sam said that he would help, but I feel like there's going to be another way to defeat Michael. I mean, there has to be. Thanks for watching, guys. If you saw the episode, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.